Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. Today I've built a material that can withstand a blowtorch. So let's do it. Now this stuff has actually been dubbed Starlight, uh, mainly because of the actual material called Starlight from the 1980s. Uh, that was pretty much completely fireproof in itself, but the actual recipe for that has mostly been kept a secret. This video and this material here is heavily inspired by Nighthawk in Light, he's another fellow science YouTuber. And in his video of this, he reveals the recipe, which is this recipe here, what I've made today, and he goes quite into the depth of the history of this material, so you should definitely go check it out, uh, card in the top corner or link in the description. Anyway, let's test this out and see how fireproof it is. I have here this, um, this little uh, blowtorch here. The flame gets quite hot. I think this can actually melt aluminium and maybe even melt hotter metals. But before I started recording, I did a uh, slight test over here. Uh, if you come over here and have a look at it. So as you can see, I have two dyes here. Uh, this one, pretty well intact. This one uh, burnt to a crisp. So I put the torch to this die for about 15 seconds and it turned into this, caught on fire, uh, burnt to a crisp. But then I got some of the starlight here that I made, put it over it, uh, same time on it, and nothing. You can see just the starlight there has been burnt, but this die here, completely intact. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that for you with another, another one here. I'm actually going to turn on the fan above just because I don't want to breathe in much of this fumes. But there you go, I torched it for about 10 seconds then and look at it, look at the state it's in. So now I'll get this one again with a bit more starlight over top and see what it does. Yeah, that's about the same amount of time that I uh, torched this die. If we can have a look. Underneath, just a bit of the starlight on the actual die, but otherwise still the workable dough. And just a nice hard, crusty black shell on the outside there. So now the ingredients for this are actually very simple. You can find it just in your house. I got flour here, sugar, cornstarch or corn flour and bicarbonate soda. 40 grams of flour, 20 grams of everything else and 25 grams of water to then mix it into a nice dough here. So every ingredient here has a specific role that plays in the final material here. The flour acts as the binder, it holds everything together. The cornstarch reduces the stickiness of the final thing here and so it can hold a better shape. The sugar forms what is called a carbon foam. When heated, it melts, providing elasticity and lubrication between the other chemicals so the gas bubbles can form. And then finally over here, the bicarbonate soda. This, when heated, produces CO2 gas and water so it can actually inflate the carbon foam. And as you can see on the screen, I have some starlight that's being heated up and you can see that the foam is actually expanding out away from the material. It's pushing the flame and the heat further away from what it's protecting and the fact that it's inflating, creating that uh, open space in between, working as an insulator. So now for the moment that you've all been waiting for, I haven't actually done this yet. Um, actually, you've probably seen it on my intro, uh, but that was filmed after this. Uh, but I'm gonna attempt to burn my hand with some of this stuff blocking it and uh, see if I can feel any heat. All right, look, I'm gonna call it a day there. 
Look how much thicker it's gotten. All of that's just puffed up. But I still had quite a bit of, uh, of the starlight there to go through before I think I would start feeling any heat. Because then it may have slightly warmed up, but uh, it was nowhere near any uh, dangerous temperatures that was going to burn my hand. So that stuff's pretty cool. But anyway, I think that just about does it for this video. Um, please, again, link in the description. Check out Nighthawk and Light's video on this and how in-depth he goes into the history. It's just really, really interesting. Uh, but otherwise, if you did learn something from this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. But until then, I'll see you next time.